Robert Leroy Parker was born on April 13, 1866 in Beaver, Utah to Maximilian Parker and Anne Campbell Giles. He was the first of their 13 children and grew up on their ranch near Circleville, Utah. He left home during his early teens and while working at a dairy farm, along with Mike Cassidy, a horse thief and cattle rustler. Robert Parker acquired the nickname Butch after working as a butcher in Rock Springs, Wyoming, and eventually appended the surname Cassidy in honor of his old friend and mentor. With the help of other outlaws, Butch Cassidy was responsible for leading a robbery on June 24, 1889, in which the gang stole $21,000. Eventually, Cassidy was arrested and imprisoned in Wyoming. He only served 18 months of his two-year sentence. He associated himself with a circle of criminals, and together they formed a gang known as the Wild Bunch, and with this gang, his criminal activity increased considerably. On August 13, 1896, Parker and the Wild Bunch robbed the bank at Montpelier, Idaho, escaping with $7,000. Shortly thereafter, he recruited Harry Longabog, alias the Sundance Kid, a native of Pennsylvania, into the Wild Bunch. In 1901, after being on the run for many years, Butch and Sundance traveled to South America. On November 3, 1908, in southern Bolivia, a courier from a silver mine was conveying his company's payroll worth of about 15,000 Bolivian pesos by mule when he was attacked and robbed by two masked American bandits, who were believed to be Butch and Sundance. The bandits then proceeded to the small mining town of San Vincent where they lodged in a small boarding house. Eventually, three soldiers approached the house and the bandits opened fire, killing one of the soldiers and wounding another. At around 2 a.m. during the gunfight, the police and soldiers heard a man screaming from inside the house. Soon, a single shot was heard from inside the house, whereupon the screaming stopped. Minutes later, another shot was heard. The standoff continued as locals kept the place surrounded until the next morning when cautiously entering, they found two dead bodies both with, with numerous bullet wounds to the arms and legs. One of the men had a bullet wound in the forehead, and the other had a bullet hole in the temple. The local police report speculated that, judging from the positions of the bodies, that one bandit had probably shot his fatally wounded partner in crime to put him out of his misery, just before killing himself with his final bullet. The bandits were identified as the men who robbed the payroll transport, but the Bolivian authorities did not know their real names, nor could they positively identify them. The bodies were buried at a small cemetery. However, there were claims, such as by Parker's sister, Lula Parker Benson, that he returned alive to the United States and lived here for years. In her biography, Butch Cassidy, My Brother, Benson cites several instances of people familiar with Parker who encountered him long after 1908. Many other reports have come forward that claim that he was alive for many years after the reported death in South America. To this day, it still remains a mystery.